Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall, and I've returned today to whap and tap on your head with another ADH Wealth Solutions article. Today is from smallbusinesstrends.com, and it's an article about Capital One, which will be acquiring Discover Financial and another merger and acquisition. <clears throat> Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. So as we proceed to give you what you need, This is a March 3rd, 2024 article uh, about uh, Capital One acquiring Discover Financial. Capital One Financial Corporation has announced its intention to acquire Discover Financial Services in an all stock transaction valued at approximately $35.3 billion. This strategic acquisition is set to create a payments giant with an expansive reach of 70 million merchant acceptance points across more than 200 countries and territories, making a significant step towards building a globally competitive payments platform. For small business owners, this development is particularly noteworthy. The merger positions the combined entity to rival the largest payment companies, promising enhanced value and expanded opportunities for over 100 million customers, including a substantial number of small businesses. Capital One's acquisition of Discover is not just about scaling operations, but is a strategic move to leverage both companies' technological advancements and data ecosystems to drive sales for merchants while offering attractive deals for consumers and small businesses alike. The terms of the agreement dictate that Discover shareholders will receive 1.0192 Capital One shares for each Discover share they hold, translating to a 26.6% premium based on Discover's closing price as of February 16th, 2024. This exchange ratio means that upon closure, Capital One shareholders will own approximately 60% of the combined company with Discover shareholders owning the remaining 40%. Now, pause ladies and gentlemen this here is where you will never hear your grifters your stock grifters who will tell you to take a short strategy when they don't know what a short strategy is not a short term strategy meaning investment for one year or less but a short strategy which means that you're buying a stock that is losing value in hopes that it will increase in value but you know you'll never hear those guys who don't have their licensure or aren't in this field talk to you about that because they don't know what that is continuing with the article richard fairbank founder and chairman and ceo of capital one highlighted the merger as a unique opportunity to unite two successful companies with complementary capabilities Fairbank emphasized the potential to compete with top payment networks and deliver significant value across stakeholders as technology continues to revolutionize the payments and banking center sectors. Echoing this sentiment, Michael Rhodes, CEO and president of Discover, acknowledged the merger <clears throat> as a testament to Discover's robust business model and the dedication of its employees. Rhodes expressed enthusiasm for the enhanced growth potential and shareholder value the combined entity is poised to unlock. Strategically, the merger aims to build a powerful, globally competitive payments network, combining Discover's extensive merchant acceptance points with Capital One's technological and customer-centric approach. 
This union is expected to drive more sales for merchants and offer greater deals for consumers and small businesses, thanks to the expanded scale and investment into the Discover Network. The deal also promises compelling financial results with expectations of generating $2.7 billion in pre-tax synergies and being more than 15% accretive to adjusted non-GAAP EPS in 2027. Moreover, the transaction forecasts a return on invested capital or ROIC of 16% in 2027, with an IRR or internal rate of return exceeding 20%. Both companies have committed to maintaining their strong community presence, with Capital One continuing its significant community investment efforts, including its $200 million impact initiative. The merger is anticipated to further strengthen Capital One's balance sheet, boasting a CET1 ratio of approximately 14% at closing, with 84% of the company's deposits insured as of year-end 2023. Pending regulatory approvals and shareholder consent, the transaction is expected to close in late 2024 or early 2025. Upon completion, the board of directors for the merged entity will include three members from Discover, ensuring a smooth integration and strategic continuity. For small business owners, the merger between Capital One and Discover signals a future of enhanced payment solutions, greater access to innovative financial products, and a stronger, more competitive marketplace as the combined company leverages its technological prowess and vast customer base, the small business community stands to gain from improved sales opportunities, more favorable transaction terms, and access to a broader range of financial services designed to meet their unique needs in an increasingly digital economy. Capital One acquires Discover, creating a payments giant to boost value for small businesses and consumers globally. So that's gonna be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass work in progress every day and see success. And remember folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.